So the first thing we're gonna talk about is active foot and dead foot. And that's gonna tailor into our hip grip, our high hip, and our clamp. So the three ways of hitting and moving and or flowing and moving. So the techniques we're gonna to use to apply water in the structure and through the box. First thing is active foot. When we say active foot, this is what we mean. You're on your toe, giving you more power, anticipating that nozzle reaction. Dead foot is when your foot is like this. And you'll see when it comes to the clamp, how that's implemented. So for the hose, I'm gonna get down. First thing I'm gonna do is check my distance. My fingertips get to the tip of the nozzle. I know I'm in a good space, okay? Next, my hand goes under the coupling. For this situation here is the hip grip. And you'll see right now, I have an active foot. My left leg is out to the side. So I can manipulate this line, work this line and work as much of that room instead of being like this and I'm being cramped, okay? We're thinking walls, ceiling walls to cool that box, cool those surfaces. Now coming to the high hip, I transition my left leg. I do have an active foot on my left leg. My right knee comes up, elbow comes into my thigh and I'm absorbing the nozzle reaction. You'll see I have a slant my right leg that's traveling, putting all the pressure back into the ground. Now transitioning to the clamp, right knee over the line. This is gonna be a dead foot. So you'll see, I need to clamp the hose to the ground and absorb that nozzle reaction. My left leg is gonna come up, my body weight I'm gonna come back and sit on my dead foot, okay? My hand is gonna transition from the bail to the coupling, and then I'm gonna work my line. 